MetLife Stadium is our home here for this matchup between the Broncos and the Giants. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Bill Sims. And I guess the big question, Bill, before kickoff is what do you expect here today? Jim, I expect a hard-hitting game. And this game's going to come down to who can out-hit the other team. Everybody says, yeah, we're willing to fight. Well, we're going to find out, are you really willing to fight? Can you do it for 60 minutes? Because that's what it's going to take to win this game. It's time to get started, so to the field we go. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. Signals right away, fair catch. And here's two-time Super Bowl winning quarterback out of Ole Miss, Eli Manning taking the field. Well, once again, Eli Manning takes the field. This guy has never missed a snap in his NFL career. Knows how to avoid trouble, doesn't take the big hits, and you give this guy time, he'll get it done. And Cruz is lined up now as a slot receiver. Now first and 10. David Wilson gets the carry. Bringing the play to an end. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. First down here after the run. Three-step drop. Victor Cruz hauls it in. The player to watch on the outside is Hakeem Nix. The biggest hands in the NFL, and that's no mistake. He has triple extra-large receiving gloves, and he can catch anything thrown his way. And Cruz is a receiver in the slot. Wilson. In zone bound, and he's got the touchdown. Anytime you see a running back get in the secondary, from there, he can make it happen. But to get him the secondary, you got to have good blocking up front. Nice job by the offensive line. Makes the PAT. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. That's a touchback. One of the biggest legends the game will ever know, quarterback Peyton Manning. Well, when you hear that phrase, he's a coach on the field, it is not a cliche when you're talking about Peyton Manning. Uh, many people have said probably the best wide receiver coach in the NFL is the quarterback Peyton Manning. Welkers in the slot. First down and 10. Throwing now to his left. And intercepted. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, 
uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. And Nix is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Reaches out and grabs it. Now you perform inside the red zone is often the difference in a game, and we'll get an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. you got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. They've got a first down now after that catch. No margin for error from just a... In the promised land. Touchdown. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. The point after is good. The Giants defense once again setting up that score. Turnover points cashed in by the offense. He'll kneel here. No reason to try his luck on the return. So the offense off the touchback will begin at the 20. Dreesen's move from the tight end position to the slot. First and ten. Set up screen. Not giving up another inch. Demarius Thomas turned into Peyton Manning's favorite target at Denver. Well, he's always had the talent, and what he did, he put some knowledge with it. He learned how to become a precise route runner, and when you're a precise route runner, Peyton Manning will find a way to get the football to you. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. Snickers satisfies. Second and six. Looking to the right side and throwing. Sticks to his hands. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. That reception gave them the first down. Manning's going to take it from the gun. That's Peyton hitting Joe Dreesen with that pass. The Broncos, this time, will go with two tight ends. It's a second and four. That catch gives them a first down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. Welkers lined up in the slot. First and 10. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And he's brought to the ground. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Giants official. He was unable to confirm exactly what the injury was, but he did tell me that it is related to the upper body. Welkers lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and nine. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Shakes off the hit. He's brought down. That play is good. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game.
This play set up by the long gainer. Manning from the gun. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The point after try is in the books. The Giants kickoff return team is on the field. After seeing their defense surrender some points, the score's 14 to seven. back of about 22. Wilson's in the backfield, single back set. Now first and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And he's got the first down. This is what drives coaches crazy. You make the quarterback throw it short, then you can't come up and make the tackle and you give up a long game. You got your players in position, that's all you can do. Now it's up to them to make a play. And Nix is a receiver in the slot. Looking to go up top again on first down. And almost picked off. Setting the lineup on defense. There is Champ Bailey, who has been a pro bowler almost every year of his career. So many years in the NFL, and Champ Bailey still so fast. And his greatest asset, he can read the quarterback, read the drops, and still make plays. And Cruz is in the slot. They hand it off to the running back. Number 22 gets the call. Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Zebra, zebra, zebra. And Nix is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and nine. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And the tackle is made at the 35 yard line. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Lamaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Only 35 yards to the end zone. Here's the first snap after the big play. Staying with the passing game on first down. That pass was hurried. That'll bring us to the end of the first quarter here in East Rutherford. We'll return in a moment for the start of the second quarter. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Wilson's going to secure the handoff. They bring him down at the 29-yard line. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. 
Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. There is Tom Coughlin on that Giants sideline, a man who has won two Super Bowl titles for the Giants franchise. Not many coaches can say they've won two Super Bowls, much less with one franchise. Tom Coughlin has done a terrific job stabilizing the New York Giants franchise, and him and Eli Manning, what a career they have forged together. You've seen Coughlin change through the years, Phil. Uh, what, what's the biggest difference with him now? Well, first off, it shows you he's a smart guy. Sometimes if you want to get better, you have to change. And I, I'll tell you, he's just become a little more friendly to the players, listening to them a little more. I think that's the biggest difference in Tom Coughlin now and the Tom Coughlin we saw 10 years ago. And whatever he's doing, keep doing it because it's working. Nice little recovery that time by the field goal holder. He gets it in position. This kicker, he is a machine right down the middle. Giants ready to kick it away. This big return is going to set up his team in excellent field position. The Broncos are set now for their next possession. Balls lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First down and 10. Flip to the outside. Fakes him out. Pushes aside one tackler. And they bring him down at the 44-yard line. Monte Ball, boy, he's fitting into this NFL very well, showing tremendous talent. That time picking up big yards. Nice run. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Justin Tuck has a sack. The big sack on the last play. Now sets up second and 21. Peyton Manning from the shotgun. Looking across the middle, and that ball's nearly picked off. But he dropped it. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Welkers lined up in the slot. Manning from the gun. Justin Tuck has a sack. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. The punter getting set to boot it away after that sack on third down. Randall from the 20. Nice tackle. And Myers is playing out of position in the backfield here. With two hands, he has it. Brought down at the 29. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just it, it gained a few yards. So that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards.
last play, picked up only four. Second down and six coming up. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Brings it in. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, when you see cover four defense, that means you have four defensive backs playing, trying to stop deep passes down the field. So if they're playing deep, where do you want to throw it? Well, of course, you want to throw it short. Nice decision that time by the quarterback. David Wilson lined up in the backfield. First and 10. Trying to work that left side. Always aware of the change. He's got the catch and he's got the first. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. Eli Manning will take it from the center here. First and 10. They feed the running back. They tackle him for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Two-minute warning. The Broncos lined up in the nickel. The quarterback throws to the right. Swatted away. Got to give the defense a lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Nickel formation here for the defense. Third and 12 to go. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. In this league now, you've got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. You've got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man coverage. Inside the red zone, so dangerous. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He has the grab. Games 20. Well, when you get tackled inside the five-yard line like that, there's so few options for the offense. Are they going to be strong enough now to push it in? We'll find out. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. Off the mark.
Goal line defense on the field. And it's off the mark. When you are behind and the offense is driving the football against you, you got to take a chance to stop this drive. Marching down the field and taking their time. In the books. Touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. Count it. The Broncos have made things difficult for themselves in the second half. And now the return team is ready to see if they can perhaps get anything ignited before the intermission. The score is 24 to 7. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. the Broncos offense now coming out Dreesen's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot looking to the right side and throwing and incompletion right there but it really should have been an interception a lot of athleticism on display right there two battling for the football and no one able to come away with it well, you said it right to two tremendous athletes but a good job by the defense that time. They won out. Welker's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and 10. Looks to his left. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with the run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. Welkers, a receiver in the slot. Manning's got it in the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. Randall from the 31, gains 11. And Cruz is in the slot. Eli Manning takes it from the gun. Victor Cruz hauls it in. The Giants signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. Wilson's shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Manning's looking to go down the field here. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. And Cruz is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Out of the shotgun formation. Looking for an open receiver on the right. A takeaway. Good piece of tackling. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Uh, nobody's open. Tries to force the pass. And look, what's it turn into? An interception. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Dreesen's there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. The Giants, one timeout remaining.
coming to the line at the 49. Welkers lined up in the slot. Now first and 10. Down the field. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone and it almost gets picked off by the defense. So that's going to do it for the first half. Giants are up in this one, which is brought to you by Verizon. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. lined up now as a slot receiver the third quarter begins with this play perfectly thrown well when your team is behind what do you do just come out there and get a first down that's a nice job by the offense First down here after the completion. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left and almost picked off. Well, but there's man-to-man -man coverage on the defensive side, and the defense does a job like this where they are covering those receivers. There is nothing the quarterback can do except that throw another incomplete pass. Second down here. Manning's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Peyton able to find Demarius Thomas. When you spy the quarterback, what it does, it just makes it easier to throw the football and complete those passes. Less people covering the receivers down the field. Welkers, a receiver in the slot. Peyton Manning from the shotgun. The quarterback throws the pass. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. He's tackled at the 28. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. Welkers in the slot. Peyton Manning looking down the field. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. Thomas going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second down and 10. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? The offense getting set. The goal line in sight. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Manning standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. This play will hold up. He's inbound. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time.
They've got a first down now after that catch. First and goal. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back, they need to make a big play here. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Second and goal from the three. The defense gets the sack. This defense is awesome at blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the step count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. This long drive continues. Manning's back in shotgun formation. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone, and it almost gets picked off by the defense. The offense comes back out here on fourth down. Mounting a serious drive. Now or never. Ford and goal. Going across the middle. He fires it in there tight. Well, I'll give the defense some credit here. They stopped them on fourth and long. Well, they should. Take that back. I'm not giving them any credit. I'm giving the blame to the offense. Bad decision. Tough starting field position here. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Wilson's hand at the football. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Wilson's lined up as the single back. Second down and seven. And Vaughn Miller has him behind the line of scrimmage. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free, and they sacked the quarterback. Third down on the way. Manning will take the snap from the shotgun. It's Bailey with the pick. Tackles made. Jim, this defense is just attacking today. They got the offense backed up. They go after them. They're aggressive. And what does it do for them? It gets them an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. Offense lines up here. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. That was a nice play call by the offensive coordinator running the football in the red zone, and he picked up some good yards. Richard, Richard. Offense lines up here. Dropping back three. The defense gets a sack. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Yeah. 
Welkers lined up in the slot. Manning's going to take it from the gun. He's looking to the right. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. The Broncos for the point after. And the point after is good. The Broncos' defense will be ready to come back out in a moment. The offense making sure their efforts weren't wasted on the last drive, making good on the interception, and putting points on the scoreboard. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. Eli Manning will take it from the center here. Three-step drop. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. David Wilson lined up in the backfield. That's Manning and Cruz combining. The quarterbacks and wide receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw a catch and just keep picking up those first downs. That reception gave them the first down. Play fake here, going for the home run. And he's intercepted. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Welkers lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Into the open flat. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Fifteen minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Welkers, a receiver in the slot. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Knocked away, incomplete. In these type of situations, when you lose the game, it's third long. Don't try to be a hero, because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. Welkers in the slot. Third and 12. The Broncos now move the chains. When you have a quarterback that can throw the football like this guy, even though it's third and 10 plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down.
Welker is going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10. Manning uncorks a long pass. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones, too. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Manning from the gun. That's over to Welker. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. <laughs> the Broncos line up. First down marker right at the 47-yard line. Welkers lined up in the slot. Third and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Now they take the football onto the opponent side of the field. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator. Just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Peyton Manning from the shotgun. The quarterback throws to the right. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Number 18 has his pass ball incomplete. Dreesen in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. Going deep, looking for Demarius Thomas. Touchdown, this game is tight. Not many quarterbacks in this league can throw that type of pass. Throw it high in the air, far down the field, and have it just drop in there right on the target. Beautiful throw for the touchdown. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Giants now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. And Nix is lined up now as a slot receiver. And it could be should right there, but it really should have been an interception. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route, terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. Coming up, second down. Looking to the right side and throwing. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. And Cruz is a receiver in the slot. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. Sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Wilson's lined up in a single back formation. Manning's dropping back to throw once again. And he hauls it in. Well, the quarterback's just too worried about his stats. So he throws that short pass, picks up a couple yards, instead of throwing it down the field.
second down coming up. He's looking to the right here on this throw. They've got him down there. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. About to take the snap inside the 20. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. They're going back up top. Makes the catch. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. And Nix is in the slot. Has it. Touchdown. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. Giants ready to kick it away. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Welker is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Now first and 10. Peyton Manning looking down the field. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait till the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. They've come out in the dime package. Second and 10. Working that left side. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Tammy's in the slot here for this play. Takes the staff from the shotgun. Peyton over to Thomas. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Now the offense in the hurry up. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. There's a flag out. Players showing no restraint coming in on the quarterback, and that late hit will come. Team 15. A lot of times these late hits are called, and I, I feel for the defensive player. Not in this case. That was an easy call. A blatant late hit. It's worthy of 15 yards. Able to move the chains after that penalty. Action fake. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That brings the play to an end. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. From inside the red zone. 
After the long game, let's see what they do here. Manning's got it in the gun. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off of the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed if you drop a pass like that. Welkers lined up in the slot. Second down and 10. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Welkers lined up now as a slot receiver. Third down and 10. It's over to Welker, and Wes Welker hauls it in. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. The wide receivers, they are turned into stars in the NFL, and you know why? Because they can make catches like this. What a great catch. All right, hey folks. All right, we we had a little little sn <laughs> technical snafu. We broke. We didn't miss anything though. Jeff kicked an extra point. That's all that That's happened. All and then he got really happy because he <laughs> thought that it, meant it was the end. To and no one was gonna Matt know. Yeah. is ready. To I'm deciding not to go for the onside because you have three timeouts. Three timeouts. Although my defense is played like poo poo. Yeah. I can make you throw the ball once. <laughs> He'll take a knee in the end zone. All right, we're gonna stop in defense. Could be a great comeback here. We talked it over, these two white guys here. <laughs> Get out of here, Wilson. <laughs> we don't want our running back yeah. in this situation. Woohoo! And the big game on me, those. Woohoo! Bobby's fucking with me and he's gonna throw. Woohoo! I got Yo, my head Help checked. me out with the timeout thing if I can't do it again. Oh, but you can't use your timeouts. How am I going to use my timeouts? And Cruz is a receiver in the slot. First down and 10. Taking it up the middle. <laughs> they call for the timeout to stop the clock. Oh, boy. 31-28. This is what watching video games online is all about. <laughs> pick our plays. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just happy I actually made a tackle. <laughs> it was my original you, guy. You're, you're the winner because of that. <laughs> After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. No, not. Oh, nice play by that dude. And they'll try to call time out again here with this time out. <laughs> Move your orange pylon. <laughs> what to do in third and nine? What to do? After that defensive what am I gonna do? We're Guys, ready for action. Cover the slant! <laughs> Nine yards is too much for the slant. We have the quick slant. <laughs> <laughs> this is huge! This is huge! Bobby, I'm getting nervous. Third down now. <laughs> Trying to make something happen. Eyeing that left side. Yes! Wait! Get a first down. Oh! First down! Eli! The official Wait a minute. Oh, the measure is. Go. If it's a first down. Oh, no first down! No first down! No first down! No first down! And so far. I can't challenge either, can I? Uh, it's within two minutes. I, oh, you can't? What's the code on this? You going to tell us what you're doing here? Yeah, of course I tell you what I'm Are doing. Are you punting or going for it? I think I'm going to go for it. Number DVD. No, maybe I'll punt it. No. Nine, Nine yards. Yard. I don't think I can <laughs> I can challenge it. Coach's options. Now it's under two minutes. Oh man, what a tackle! What a tackle! I don't know, man. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. 
Like, there's me trying to get you. Like, I think I got him. Oh, I'm so close. It was a good play by you. I gotta say. <laughs> Look! Look where he catches it! You gotta get to the 32. No! 31! <laughs> right, well, listen, man. Look. Oh, you got tackled way over there, though. You got possession on the other side over there. Listen, it's third and inches. Bobby's, Bobby's called him. Come on, there's people watching. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to go for it. You're going to go for it? Got to have the balls, right? Ugh. You got to have the balls! The Broncos call a timeout time out here. They out. have zero timeouts remaining. The balls to make it happen. This would be a great game to watch. It would be. Now I, I really don't even care if I lose now. Back out there for action after that defensive timeout. Booth review. Will be challenged. Oh wait a minute! Oh, they're gonna do it. They're gonna Inside fuck me. Are they gonna be the ones that fuck me? <laughs> this is crazy. Booth review. It's gonna give it to me. It's gotta it give might. it to me. It might. It's got to well, give it to it me. It was called one way on the field, but now inside it. Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> Justice! I think if you left it up oh, to the coaches, man. they'd like to Justice the is mine. The put all the pressure on the officials <sighs> in the NFL. That's what it's there for, it's to overturn the bad ball. calls on the field. <laughs> First down here after the completion. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have called one before. Yeah, well, yeah. You're an offensive line, yeah, then you can line up game. and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards. You are going to get into the head of the defense. Wait, they called it. You're you basically saying we're tougher than you they, are. I called the timeout, and right then they you. reviewed the play. Offense it's true. They should have given the timeout. <laughs> I should have that timeout. Yeah. Back. Second we'll complain the league. They beat up the ball again. This satisfying really, defensive play is probably <laughs> You want me to take one? No. Satisfies. Yeah, because they I should have it then. Mm -hmm. You should have it. The Giants signal for the time. Did you take out. a timeout? Yeah. And that's the first one they've used. Your fans are like, what are they doing? <laughs> I don't really, I actually didn't do the math. I don't know if it matters, but. No, but maybe it does. Who knows? At least I can feel good about it. Still got quite the uphill battle for them. <laughs> the offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. And Nix is in the slot. Oh, my God. The quarterback will hand it off. Good, <laughs> solid <laughs> tackle. Short play. of the first. You don't even get to run now one play. got a fourth down situation. No, got a yeah, do you got, but no, I think, I think the play clock and the um, game clock are... Oh, oh there's five seconds. <laughs> The defense stuffs the run on third down, and now we'll see a change of possession. <laughs> Just because so, I'm putting my controller down yeah. and letting the clock run down. Are you going to punt it before the clock runs out? I don't know, maybe. You want to take the penalty? Or just go call timeout. No. Oh. I don't really need him. Thank you. <laughs> The Giants are going to use one of the two timeouts. That's, some, that's some realistic play right there. They do that. <laughs> they do that. They do. It's not the most exciting way to end the game, but. That's a pretty impressive play by Eli to get that first down. The yeah, defense stuffs the run. We'll scramble, wait for the guy to come in. To try possession to as they call on the punting unit. Right, here we go. Weather Ford! Boom! It's returnable. <laughs> I did that. Yeah, I was like, ah, I got no idea. This one could have gone either uh, way. Each well, if this holds true, I should have done a fair catch. I didn't have any time. I was looking at the clock. Oh, okay. That's, I was going to, but yeah. I was looking at the clock. There was, there was How much? All right, that's it. Practice gonna be. I got a. I got a trophy. You get a trophy win on that for side finishing line. a game, I guess. Once you win, I'm going thirty-one twenty-eight. <laughs> Good game. Good game. We're, We're shaking hands right now. We are shaking. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and so that's the first edition of uh, Man Cave. So I think if you wonder why I sounded all cranky in the podcast, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we did this first. David Wilson. I don't know. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. So that's our. If, if everything goes to plan, mm -hmm. everything happens the way it happened in this game, the Giants will win the, the, uh, 
This the Manning Ball. Fun game to watch. Fun game, game to watch. If this, if this is the game on Sunday, I'll be <laughs> yeah, pretty excited about it. Game. Exactly. Well, there we go. Oh, I remember that play. See, I struggled early. That was my you problem. You did. You did struggle early. Never say never. Moment of the game. It's like the second play of the game. It was, yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. Talk to you later.